this uh, speaker and trainer is going to be Adityan, as you all very familiar with him. I think uh, you know about him. So let me give a very brief introduction about myself before I get into today's topic. My name is Adityan Tirchuri and I'm having okay. around seven years and quarter years of experience in the Salesforce ecosystem and I'm holding around 10 certifications. I'm into LinkedIn and you can see my um, you know, LinkedIn URL, my Trailblazer URL as well. I am also into blogging. I, you know, I usually write more number of blogs related to Apex. If you get some time, maybe you can pay a visit over there as well. And data type supported in Apex. So basically we call them as collections. Collections are basically for holding multiple values. If you see one string cannot hold multiple values. One string is capable of holding only uh, one value. One string is capable of holding only one value, but whereas when we speak about collections, when we speak about collections, this is capable of holding multiple values. Yeah. Now let us see what these are all. We have three collections that are available for us. One is list, second one is set, and third one is map. Now let's go through each. First one is list. When we speak about a list, this is more like a ordered collection of elements, which means whatever element you are trying to add, that will be coming up over here then the second element then the third element then the fourth element then the fifth element the order is maintained here by printing a list i will understand at which order were the elements added into the list we have the index concept here whenever you are trying to add an element the very first element will be having the index as zero index starts with zero here like what we have seen in the offset when during our softball session, we have something called as index here, index 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. When you say, if you want to print the fourth element, you have to say that print the element with 3 as index because index starts with 0. And this is an ordered collection of element. You, this is the syntax. List of data type, I mean, list of basically what kind of variables you really want to store. What is the data type? List of this variable name is equal to new list of the same thing. Now you can ask me, why are you trying to give is equal to new list of mains just because of the scenario that we have just seen? What is it? Attempt to dereference a null object. If I do not specify anything, it will be holding null. And when you are trying to manipulate this specific list, you'll be getting another stating an attempt to dereference a null object. Because there must be something, I'm trying to default it with one value. Okay. Then what is this new list of data type? I understand that you're trying to default it in order to avoid some exceptions. But what is this new list means when you say new list of data type, it is more like you're allocating an empty space to it. It is like empty value. It is more like a default empty empty value so that you can make some manipulations. It is not null, but it is holding something which is empty. That is what it is about. Now, methods in a list. Okay. Elements can be added into the list while creation or after creation. Now we will see that there are different, different methods. If you want to add an element, add, if you want to remove, if you want to sort them, you can clear them. For a specific index, you can get which element is present. If you want to print the size, if you want to check if an element is present, and you can also check is the list empty or not. We will understand this with the examples. Create a variable to hold three strings by name Amar, Akbar, and Anthony. Okay, fine. I'm removing this. Now, I know that this collection list, and I know that the variable should be of type string because I have to create string variables only. I have to hold string variables. So LST string, LST str is equal to new list of string. This is the syntax that I have seen in the slide. This is the syntax, a list of data type. Variable name is equal to new list of data type. Okay, fine. I have created this. Then what should I do? I have to, this variable should hold three strings, Amar, Akbar, and Antony. So how should I do it means, I, if I look into this, okay, there is something called as add. So what should I do here? I am trying to add something into this specific variable. So what I will be doing is I have to first paste the variable here, then dot add. This is what I have to do. This is the format that has to be followed. So what should I add here? I have to add Amar. And in the same way, I should add Akbar. And then add in. System.debug LST str. Now I understood that this is how it has to be done. Now what I will do is I will just try to remove this just to see what will happen. Clicking on execute. Attempt to dereference a null object at line number two because this is null. And what are you trying to do to this null? You're adding something. No, you cannot refer something in null. Make sure that it is defaulted with something. Okay. So I'm doing this initialization. I'm initializing this specific list with some blank value. 
So now if I click on execute, yes, it allowed me and no error was thrown. When I click on debug only, I see that Amar, Akbar, Anthony are present in this specific list. So what did I do here? I just initialized my list. When I say initialization, you are just trying to allocate some memory space to it. Then what am I trying to do? Once it is done, I am trying to add different entries into my variable. And then at the end, I am printing. There is one more way to implement the same thing. You can tell which values are to be present into your list variable while creation itself. So how can you do that means rather than having these parentheses open curly brackets here and then specify all your values separated by a comma. Specify all your values separated by a comma. Both of them are doing exactly the same thing in the first approach. You have first created and then added in the second approach. You are just trying to uh, do it at the time of creation itself. Make sure that you are using a curly bracket here. You have to use a curly bracket. Multiple values should be separated by a comma. Only then it will allow. Even if I click on execute highlighted for this, even that will not throw me any error. See, it's the same output. So two ways. And now what if you want to add one more entry, then you can do it like this again. LSTSTR dot add and only. But if you do this, this is fine. But if you do like this again, LSTSTR is equal to new list of string. Let's assume that you want to add one more value by name Aditya. System dot debug LSTSTR. Now this will not show me four values. This will show me only one value because what am I trying to do here? I'm telling is equal to new list as you're telling that it is a new list system immediately erased everything, created an empty space unto that empty space. It has added only one element, which is Aditya. Now, if you feel that my list should hold whatever is present uh, in it and along with it, add something means then you should not do something like this. You should say dot add. When you say dot add, what it will do? It will try to add an element to the existing list, which is more like this. So it is already having appeal. When you say dot add, it will append lemon to it, not append. It will add the entry lemon to it. But when you say is equal to new list of string lemon, then what will happen? Appeal will be removed. New memory space got allocated and memory has been completely wiped out. Now the list is completely empty into this empty list. Lemon has been added. I will show you how this behaves. Is equal to now let me execute these statements. So first I'm trying to create a list for this list. I have given three values. Then I'm printing this. Then for the same list, uh, I'm creating to initialize and adding the value. I'm done giving the value. Aditya. Clicking on execute highlighted. Clicking on debug only. Now, if you see, I got only Aditya over here. I did not see the my earlier elements because you have given is equal to and you are saying new list of string. So what I should do is if I say add here, then whatever elements are present in this list, they will be retained unto the existing elements in new entry will be added. So clicking on execute highlighted. Let me close this and let me execute it again. I'm closing all this. Control E, clicking on execute highlighted. Clicking on debug only. If you see, now the elements are present. So though both of them are doing kind of same thing, but the functionality is varying in some specific scenarios. So you need to keep it in your thoughts. Then create a variable to hold all the account records with the billing city as Dallas. Yes. Create a variable to hold all the account records with the billing city as Dallas. Now, what is the data type that I have to make use of? I know that I have to create a list. Yes, I know that I have to create a list. Fine. What should be the data type here? Should it be string or should it be integer? No, neither. Because this variable should hold the account records. Now, what is the data type of account? Then we have to understand the concept that all the objects that you're making use of are also data types. What is this? How are the data types? I know that there is a data type by name integer. There is no data type by name account, right? Means you have to understand the concept of abstraction. There is something called as abstract data type in oops. Understand that so that you will be able to relate to this. Now, let me tell you that 
every object you create inside salesforce be it standard object which was given to you by salesforce or be it a custom object that was created by you is more or less a data type then if it is a data type what is it actually holding i know that integer will hold number string will hold a text value then what will this hold means this is holding combination of multiple uh, data types what is this means now let me tell you i have to go few slides back now i am speaking about opportunity here i am speaking about opportunity i am not taking all the fields i am just taking only three fields on opportunity name field stage name field close date field for my example i know that name field is of type string i am speaking purely technically here i am not at all dealing with the way how it works so i know that my name field whatever i have an opportunity is of type string i know that the field close date is of type date because i am choosing only date over there i know that the field stage name is of type again string though it is a pick list but it is still holding a text value only so i know that if i try to create string name string stage name date close date and enclose it within a uh, and enclose it within a block and for that specific block if i name it as opportunity then opportunity is an abstract data type for me and that is nothing but a class if you create public class opportunity and inside that class if you create these three string variables i mean these three variables then that is a class and that class is available to you as a data type so now we have to understand that every object you create inside salesforce is actually a class behind the scenes Salesforce is doing the job for you. Every object you are creating is actually becoming a class for it. As it is becoming a class for you, you are able to make use of it. You, you will understand this uh, in a very clear way when we write some triggers. But for now, understand that class is nothing but an abstract data type. Abstraction is one of the future which we have it in OOPs. And for every object you create or every object you deal with inside Salesforce is actually a class behind the scenes. And class is. combination of variables and methods and when we speak about variables variables could be of different different data types there is no such restriction that all variables should be of same data type it is collection of members and methods and so which i have something called as list of account this works absolutely fine for me but make sure that you are specifying just the api name or not anything now i understood that okay i have something like this list lsc acc is equal to new list of account what I, i mean i have to do i i can do that but let me read the requirement get a variable to hold all the account records with billing city as dollars okay now this reminds me of the sql query i have to write a sql query first let me go to query editor and let me do that select they have not specified which fields they need so i'm just using select id comma name from account where billing city is equal to dollar i am not spending time on explaining this sql query because i am assuming that you all are aware of this so yes there are four records now let me tell you that every sql query you write inside apex programming language is of type list of s object i told you that you have to use s object here right but as this sql query will fetch you multiple records every sql query data type is list of s object based on the object that you are trying to write your sql query on so if you say this then system will understand but the problem is the formatting is kind of incorrect let me click on execute it is telling me that something unexpected something like this okay because i missed a semicolon let me do that and let me click on execute even then it is throwing me an error because of the reason that when you are making use of sqls in your apex you have to follow one more uh, uh, syntax and that specific syntax is you have to put them in a matrix bracket only if you use this matrix bracket system will understand that okay this is not a normal string or a normal integer but this is of type sql which means i have to execute this sql query and whatever output i am getting that output has to be generated to this variable so for the system to understand that you have to use this matrix bracket if you do not use the matrix bracket system will does not understand that it is a sql query because you have to convey it to the you have to convey it in a way so the system is understanding that's what uh, we have been discussing throughout so make sure that you are using a matrix bracket whenever you are trying to execute i mean whenever you are trying to assign the output of a sql query to a variable if at all you want sql query to get executed inside apex 
these brackets are very very important if you do not use this bracket system will not understand that this is a softball query this is one way of you telling to the system that this is a softball query if you do not tell to the system in a way that you are expecting it to do then obviously outputs cannot be generated so i am just trying to say system dot debug lst acc clicking on execute okay so i mean it got printed because there are four records you can see account id name comma then second record comma third record and then fourth record yes fine this did the job for me so what did we learn here every object is actually a class inside salesforce then what did we also understand you can also say list of abstract data types they, they don't have to be the primitive data types you can also use abstract data types here and so we are making use of list of account if you create a class you can say list of that class name you can use it that's how it works so list of abstract data type and then the variable name and we know that the as any sql query you execute will give the output as list of s object because there will be multiple records so due to which i am saying list of account lst acc is equal to so and so and then execute this and this work for me fine let me look into the third example show the size of the list created above okay we have a list created and this list is holding some values now we want to show the size means how many elements are present so how can we do that again let's go to methods in the list we have something called as size what will this size give this size will give us the elements number of elements count of elements that are present in this specific list lst acc dot size this is important size is a method due to which you are putting this parenthesis dot size is a method clicking on execute highlighted clicking on debug only if you see it is showing me 4 though the index starts with 0 but count will be given correctly only count will be given correctly only then let's look into the last one get the billing revenue of the fourth element of the list ordered by the number of employees in designing order okay let's break it into multiple steps here get the billing revenue of the fourth element okay they want to print the billing revenue of the fourth element fine let's let's put this aside for now then of the list we whatever list we have and list ordered by the number of employees in descending order this is something which we are very familiar with they want the list to be ordered by the number of employees in descending order okay let's do that order by number of employees in descending order very clear till now then they want to print just the billing revenue of the fourth element now how can i print a fourth element if you see by making use of index i can print whichever element i want and also if you see here i can say dot get and i can provide the index they want the fourth element for fourth element i have to give index as three because index starts with zero as they want fourth element i have to give index as three and get index so what i will do here is system dot debug this is uh, apex is also case sensitive so i can find right in capitals or small get three because i want to print the fourth element i am giving it as get three and now i am clicking on execute clicking on debug only now if you see it has printed me id and name but as per my requirement i want to get the billing revenue billing revenue i'm not sure if that is a field on account or not let me quickly verify okay annual revenue let's make use of annual revenue billing revenue there is no such field let's make use of annual revenue they want me to print annual revenue okay for doing it let me first query for it now how can i print just the annual revenue and not the entire record because i see that when i say get of three obviously it is printing me the entry water is present and this entry is the whole record now how can i not print the whole record but print just only a specific part of it means remember that you can make use of a dot operator and then do it like how we are able to access only one field from its parent while writing SQL query from child to parent you are saying relationship name dot just the field name you are not getting the entire record you are getting only one specific field from that record by making use of dot operator in the same way this dot operator can help you to fetch only this but not the entire record now if i click on execute now i am getting yes the annual revenue now let me show you one thing here 
now i am not querying for annual revenue and i am clicking on execute now if you see i am getting an error stating that a subject row was retrieved by a sql without querying for this specific field called annual revenue yes i understand that you wanted to print for this specific field but this field is not present over here now you have to understand that if you are trying to access any field in your code that field must be part of your sql query because this lst acc is holding only id and name and you are trying to make use of some field which is not present in the sql query so this cannot be accepted lst acc is holding only id and name that's it nothing is present now we are trying to print annual revenue it is trying to search for it and there is nothing by name annual revenue and so it is not able to print it but how can it convey to you that it is not able to print it by throwing an error and so which it is throwing an error stating that you are trying to refer something which is not part of your sql but whatever output as part of that sql is assigned to a variable but this variable is not holding this specific field so add this for you to see the output this is what that error means now when i click on execute and when i click on debug only i will be able to see the output that i'm actually expecting this is about list now let us go into the concept of set so when we speak about list we understood that set is uh, list is more like a ordered collection which means when you add an element uh, at the very first place the index of that element will be zero so even in future if you say just print the first element by using dot get of zero yes you can be assured that you will be getting the first element only but whereas when we speak about set set collection is unordered there is no guarantee that the index will be retained reason being set will not allow duplicates in a list you can add same entries multiple times list is allowing you to add duplicate entries but whereas when we speak about set set will not allow you to add a duplicate entry means will it throw an error if you add a duplicate entry no it will not throw an error it will just skip that entry from getting added then yes it is just skipping that is fine but why is the order not maintained means now think a scenario like this you wanted to add first entry as aditya second entry as bharat third entry as aditya fourth entry as balu so first entry and third entry are exactly the same so first entry aditya got processed second entry bharat got processed third entry aditya did not get processed so due to which third element is not aditya now again you are trying to add balu as fourth element but third element is empty due to which balu became the third element though you want balu to be at fourth place still he was in the third place because third one was empty so due to which he cannot rely on the order for this set and so which we do not have the get part here because you never know it could be present or it could not be present and we are not sure about the values that you are trying to add because we don't allow duplicates the chances are quite high that the index what you are expecting might be not the way how it is stored in the system due to which it is not really allowing us so the same data type almost everything is same for list and set the difference is when we speak about list duplicates are allowed but when we speak about set duplicates are not allowed so if you see these are the elements that are present add remove clear size contains is empty you can remove an element do not you don't have to specify the index you can just say dot remove aditya that's it it will remove it because set will contain only unique values when you say aditya you don't really have to search for which aditya because in this collection there will be only one aditya and it can remove it so easily creation is in the same way you can create like how we did for list i will just show one example so set of string set str is equal to new set of string in the same way how i did for apex i can do this aditya amar alpar balu mahendra okay now i wanted to print this system dot debug set str and then i want to add one more element to it like how i did for uh, list in the same way yes i can do it so here what i will do is bharat and then i want to remove an element str dot remove mahendra now i also want to print the set no and i also want to print the size of it and i also want to check for something system dot debug set str dot contains there is one method by name contains and i'm one trying to check if there is anything by name if there is any entry by name sing and then i also want to print this as well is empty there is one more method so i'm just trying to use all those methods whatever i have over here and then i'm clicking on execute 
I'll show the output and the code in parallel so you can understand. Okay. So first, what did I try to do here? First, I try to create a set. And to this set, what am I trying to do? I'm trying to add one, two, three, four, five entries. Aditya Amar Akbar Balu Mahindra. Yes, Aditya Akbar Amar Balu Mahindra. Now, if you see here, the elements order got changed. I have added Amar in the second place and Akbar in the third place. But what happened? Akbar came in second place and Amar went to third place because it sorted them alphabetically. And this is one other reason why you cannot make use of index while accessing a set because you never know if that specific element is still present in that specific index or not. Then I'm just trying to print it. Then what am I trying to do? I'm trying to add Bharat to it. Though my intention is Bharat should be added at the last but Bharat was not added at the last. Very well, he was added last, but one after Bharat Mahindra was present. So again, one more reason why we should not use index. I mean, why is index not allowed for us to make use in set? Then I have added Bharat, then printed it. Then I tried to remove Mahindra directly. I did not make use of index. I just said remove this element and I printed it again. And if you see, Mahindra is not present at line number six. After removal, Mahindra is not present. I said dot size. It gave me five entries. Yes, there are five entries. One, two, three, four, five. Then. I'm just asking the system, is it containing sing? It is telling me false. So now understand the fact that when you say dot size, it will give you the integer. It will give you the count, which will be in number. When you say dot contain, it will return you something of type Boolean. If it is containing, it will say you true. If it is not containing, it will say you false. In the same way, when you say dot is empty, it will check is the list empty or not. If the list is empty, okay, fine. I will send you true. If the list is not empty, then I will send you something called as false. This is how set works. But the primary difference between list and set is list will allow you to add duplicate entries. But whereas when we speak about set, set will not allow you to add duplicate entries. So this is something which we have to understand here. Now, you are trying to add an element. You are trying to remove an element and you are trying to print the whole list. You are also trying to check the size of it. You are also trying to check if there is a specific element with this specific value present in the collection or not. If it is present, it will say true. If it is not present, it will say false. Then you are also trying to see is the collection empty or is it holding some values? If it is empty, then it will say uh, true. If it is not empty, then it will say false. Now I will just make it as empty. How can I make it as empty? I have one method called clear. So I'm just using this clear here. So when I say clear, it will be emptied. And then I am printing this now. Clicking on execute. Now clicking on debug only. Now if you see here, at nine number nine and line number 11, I have written same code. But at nine number line number nine, it is showing me as false. You can see line number nine here. Why is it false? Because the set is holding some entries. After that, what I do, I cleared the set. And then when I am asking the system to tell me if it is empty or not, it is telling me it is as true because I cleared it. So is empty will just return you either true or false. If it is empty, it will return you true. If it is not empty, it will return you false. Same for contains as well. If the element is present, it will return you true. If the element is not present, it will give you false. But make sure that the collection variable, whatever you are making use, if not you are making use of is not null. If it is null, then gone case you will be getting attempt to reference a null object everywhere. So you have to ensure that this list is not null. Then the most dynamic collection element that we have in Apex is map. Map is more like a key value pair, which means you will be giving the keys and you will be giving the values. So how it works is if you give me apple, I will tell you red. If you give me banana, I will tell you yellow. If you give me orange, I will tell you orange. If you give me pear, I will tell you green. If you give me grapes, I will tell you green. So you have to load elements in a way that you are specifying both keys and also values. And then later, what will you do? You will just give me the key. For the key, whatever you give me, I will give you the corresponding value. That is what map is all about. And when we speak about the syntax of map, Key can be of any data type. Value can be also of type any data type. There is no such restriction stating that key and value should be of same data type. You can choose any data type for key and any data type for value. The syntax is map of key data type and then value data type. Give some variable and then do the initialization. So I will just take one small example and then we can go for a break. So map of 
I will just take the same example: string and string. Map of string, comma string. Map color codes is equal to new map of string, comma string. Then what should I do? You have to add elements into it. For list and for set, you made use of dot add to add an entry. But whereas here you have to use something called as dot put. Put is the method name that had to be used. So first entry that you want to do is let me look into this example. For apple, you wanted to give it as red. Apple is the key, and red is the value. So you are coming here and you are telling apple, and then red. This is the format that you have to follow. So dot put apple, and then corresponding value that you want to give is red. And for banana, yellow. And for banana, yellow. Now let me just print this map. System dot debug map color codes. Clicking on execute. If you see apple equal to red, banana equal to yellow because okay, I gave it in a wrong spelling. But this is the format. Now let me show you something. Now what I want to do is this is what I wanted to give. I know that apple is already present in this specific map. Now what should how will the system behave? Clicking on execute. Clicking on debug only. Apple is equal to red. Apple became dark red and banana became yellow. There is no one more entry created explicitly for apple, which means that the keys, whatever you have in the map, are always unique. The key that you are making use in a map should always be unique. So what does it mean? Will it throw me an error if I try to add a duplicate entry? No, it will not throw an error. It will just override the existing entry. Because if you see here, initially I gave apple as red and banana as yellow. Then what happened next time? For apple, the moment I gave dark red, this entry apple is equal to red has with this specific entry, apple is equal to dark red. No matter what system is still trying to maintain uniqueness for this specific key field. So the key, whatever you have in map is more like a set. But whereas for this, yes, duplicates are allowed. So now I will add one more entry here stating mango and then yellow. Now I will try to print this map color codes. Clicking on execute. Yes, yellow, yellow, yellow came multiple times means values can be duplicated, but the keys cannot be duplicated. Now I will show you one more thing. Map color codes dot put. Uh, apple, banana, mango is what I have used. Now I'm adding one more entry here stating before mango, guava, okay. Now I'm again printing this. Now, if you see, though I have added Gawa at the end, Gawa did not come at the end. Gawa came before Mango. So now it is so evident that the key, whatever you are using in a map is just like a set. I cannot say it is same. I mean, it is just set. It is like a set. It is similar to how a set behaves because it also did the sorting. And this functionality we observed while making use of a set also. When you're trying to add an entry into a set, we observed that the sorting is happening in an alphabetical order. And we observed similar behavior. Though we have added Gova at the end, what happened? This Gova added into the list, added into the collection, but not at the end, but in some different order, which is sorted alphabetically. So the key is no matter in which order you try to add, they will still be sorted alphabetically. This is something which you have to understand. Two points we understood here map is more like a key value pair and rather than using add like how we do it in list and a set add is not present inside a map we have to use something called as put and when we do that we have to ensure that keys are unique what will happen if keys are not unique when you're trying to add duplicate entries will system throw an error no system will not restrict but system will try to override the existing entry with the new entry that you're trying with the duplicate key okay fine so that will be done then second thing 
what did we also observe we also observed that the uniqueness is maintained only for the keys but not for the values only the keys are to be maintained unique but not the values then when you try to add an entry into a map does it mean that the index is maintained no because sorting does happen internally based on the entries that are present for the corresponding keys so based on the way how you are trying to add elements the same order is not maintained the order is maintained by sorting the entries alphabetically based on the key based on the keys whatever entries are present for the keys corresponding sorting does happen now let's look into few more methods we understood put now what i want to do is i want to see the value that is present only for banana i do not want to print the entire thing i want to see the value that is present for banana so what i will do is system dot debug for this map you can use dot get when you say put you are trying to add an entry when you say get you are trying to fetch an entry you are not manipulating it you are fetching it so for which element do you want to see the corresponding value for banana you want to see the value so i am clicking on execute now i got it as illo now what i will do is i will try to print for pomegranate here let us see what will happen because pomegranate is not present in the collection you can see that only apple banana guava mango are present pomegranate is not present but still i am trying to print pomegranate now i will click on execute it did not throw me an error okay then what did it showing to me it is showing me null so what does it mean you have to see that even though if an entry is not present when you are trying to get the corresponding value for an entry not present it will not throw an error but it will return you null this is something important then contains key if you want to see if an entry is present or not like how we have contains in list and set in the same way we have something called as contains key there is no such thing called just contains we have something called as contains key what it will do it will try to check in all the keys not in all the entries i mean not in values but only in the keys in the values it will try to see okay is there any entry with key as pomegranate if there is an entry i will print as false if there is no entry i will print it as uh i mean if there is an entry i will print as true if there is no entry i will print as false as there is no entry with key as pomegranate i am seeing the result as false over here then size size is pretty much same as list and is empty is empty is also pretty much same as list and uh set now there is a special mention here now i want to print all the keys for which i have created this map i want to print all the keys just the keys i do not want to print anything i want to print only the keys then what should i do there is a method for that as well and that method is key set when you say dot key set it will print just the keys for you rather than printing the whole map what is it printing you it is printing you only the keys apple banana guava mango or the keys for you now do i have anything similar to print only the values i understand for printing the keys you gave me key set and this is so evident to prove that okay this is behaving like a set now do i have anything just to print the values yes i have something like that but what should i put it over here means just values you will not be putting it as value set or value list you will be just saying it as values when you say values only the values will be fetched when you say key set just the keys will be fetched clicking on execute now and clicking on debug only if you see here i have printed just the keys and here i am printing only the values so what did we learn here we understood the concept of adding an entry into a map fetching a corresponding entry by providing the key and checking if a key is present or not checking the size checking the um, check i mean checking the count of elements that are present and checking if the collection is holding at least one element or not when you say is empty it will return you true if the list is completely empty and then what also uh, i mean what did we also observe we observed that when you say dot key set it will print you all the keys that are present in a map and when you say dot values it will print you all the values excluding the keys all the values whatever are present it will print you all of them dot key set dot values are also the methods that we have inside maps okay yes is your audible yeah. could you help us by explaining the map with some key value with an object Uh, results we, we will do that in a trigger we'll do that in trigger maybe that will be a good thing because just for explaining uh, the even if i explain it now again i have to explain it in trigger so we will be covering okay. triggers today only so maybe at oh. the end if you are still not comfortable let me know i will again i uh, you know take a step back to cover it again
ओके फाइन आदित्य यस हाउ टू हैंडल एरर इन सेल्सफोर्स मींस इफ यू गेट एनी एरर ओके स्पीकिंग अबाउट एरर्स देयर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ एरर्स वन कंपाइलेशन एरर एंड व्हिच अकर्स ड्यूरिंग द कंपाइल टाइम एंड सेकंड थिंग इज व्हिच अकर्स ड्यूरिंग द रन टाइम व्हेन यू सी एनी एरर व्हाइल सेविंग योर प्रोग्राम इट इज सो क्लियर दैट वॉट एवर यू आर ट्राइंग टू राइट इज समथिंग विच इज नॉट अंडरस्टूड बाई द सिस्टम लाइक मिसिंग ए सेमिकॉलन और मिसिंग ए क्लोज ब्रैकेट और यू नॉट फॉलोइंग द सिंटैक्स दट इट इज एक्सपेक्टिंग लाइक लाइक वॉट वी आर सींग लाइक यू आर ट्राइंग टू इफ यू मिस अमिकॉलन दैन इट इज सो क्लियर सिस्टम कैनॉट अंडरस्टैंड स्टेटमेंट हैज बीन हैंडेड हियर या इज देर एनी सिंटैक्स टू हैंडल द एरर wait wait let me complete so that is one kind of error when we speak about compile time uh, scenarios there is no way you have to change your language because system should understand first then the second thing is dynamic time errors which most of the people call them as exceptions okay when mm-hmm. we speak about an exception yes there are some approaches to handle the exceptions in a productive way when we speak about them because that can happen because of the input given by the user you cannot predict that user will be giving a very invalid input let's say for a date field user has given a name and he clicked on submit your logic is to calculate the age based on the date given by the user in such a scenarios yes there is a way for you to handle it but apart from that any other way there is no such thing where you can just let the system to handle it by itself you have to make sure that your code is written in a well structured manner such that it will not fall as prey for any errors something okay. that occurs only during the run time as an exception can be handled there are approaches for that okay hey, uh, hey aditya yeah. i have a question yes so uh, this is regarding the execute anonymous window versus uh, writing a code in a method inside apex plus so mm-hmm. is do you use execute anonymous window only like as a developers playground to just you know debug a small piece of code or you use it in real time projects also even in real time projects yes we tend to use anonymous block i will give you a small example when you try to perform deployment i am okay have you heard the word deployment yeah yeah sure yes okay so when you do deployment to production environment obviously there will be some scripts that are to be executed there will be some scripts okay it could be about updating some records or it could be about manipulations of some data so for that to happen anonymous block is the only place for you you will go into anonymous block you will query for some records make the necessary manipulations and those things you will do it in anonymous block only when someone says that yes we will try to update record from back end it means that they are using anonymous block they are going to anonymous block identifying the record and making some manipulations over there okay but it is mostly like when our developers doing it it matters only for developers yeah. only for developers and for a very specific corner scenarios not all the time okay but when it is a client server call and response mm-hmm. react then it is always an apex class and a method yes, yes obviously yes 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 definitely okay okay thank you thank you yeah i aditya Hi. Uh, Aditya, you said like uh, before assignment any uh, means while we are declaring the list variable, hmm. you told before assignment uh, it will be null value, right? Correct. If you do That's not assign we, anything. Uh, so when you use the SQL query, you did not assign anything. You directly say, wrote it. Correct. I said integer i will be null. But when you say integer i equal to ten, will i be holding something or will i be null? Ah, uh, okay. In the same way, when I just say list account LST and I leave it, it will be null. But I said list account and then I I gave equal to and I wrote a query. So whatever that query is written in, that will be stored in the variable. So just before that, when you use the example Amar Akbar Anthony, mm-hmm. uh, at that time also you used the new instance when you were giving the other way. One okay, method so is, one method is to dot add. We can mm-hmm. add method. We can use the other way. You directly wrote the uh, new. <laughs> list and in brackets uh, curly brackets okay okay let me let me just get it straight i am not really sure if i understood your question completely or not i will repeat you break me if you feel that i did not understand your question yeah. so your question is more like for list of string i have written something like this but whereas yes. for list of account i am directly writing like this why is this new list of string not present over here and why can't you write a curly bracket and put it over here correct is that your yes. question yes yes okay fine let me tell you 
for string it is so clear that i can write something like this because this variable uh, this value is of type string yes but when you say you want to put something of type account you have to first create a variable of type account correct yes and then yes this will work if you create variables of type account you can put them as well you can do this this is allowed but for my example the example is i want to query for the existing records that are satisfying a criteria so sockel is the relevant implementation okay. yes i mean for for adding this yes this this absolutely works you can add this or you can also say lstsc dot add a lstsc dot add b that will work but the thing is i already have my list prepared which comes to me if i just write a sockel query why do you again have to create some variables and then add those variables into your list this will work this will work if that answers your question this will work and yeah. you will see this you will see this in test classes that will be our last session we will be using this syntax in test classes ajit I mean, my, yes i have a question in uh, double data type so, double data type okay yeah. so if we need to use a double data type it should mm -hmm. consist a uh, decimal right then only it will work am i right double data type kind of yes yes okay so if customer if user needs to enter a phone number so mm -hmm. we don't know uh, user don't know that we have used a, a double data type and it should consist Correct. of decimal then only it will execute so user Correct. just enter a phone number then mm -hmm. how come uh, it will uh, show input output. okay fine user will be entering something in the front end you will be storing it in the back end correct yeah yes and you have complete control over uh, manipulations that you can do it in the back end correct Yeah, yes, yes. So you can take the value whatever user has entered, do some manipulations on top of it, and then assign it to a way such that it is compatible with double rate. Yeah, I got it. I got it. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. And also, also, Aditya, when you uh, when you gave that example in double that mm -hmm. number and dot zero, mm -hmm. when you execute it, it will the result would show starting with nine dot zero, but uh, while declaring, you never put the nine dot zero something. Okay, fine. So as I told you, that double is basically for holding something of very. Can, can I remove this or anyone wants this? Yeah. Aditya, can you please open new enter Apex code window? No, no, I pasted in Notepad. That is fine. I mean, at the end, I will just share this text file where I have all the snippets that uh, I made use of. Yeah. Actually, I'm trying to do with you by hands on. I didn't get that window. Enter Apex code window. I just okay, want to okay, okay. Fine, fine, fine. Got it. Under debug. Open execute anonymous window. Control E is the shortcut. Thank you, Aditya. Thank you. Okay, so yeah, double right. So double. Let me let me go one after other. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Clicking on execute. This error is expected, so I'm adding something. Clicking on execute. So now your question is why is it showing me something like this correct yeah 9 dot okay so if you see here it means that 9.8 something 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 e power 10 means it will do some multiplications if you want to really see the exact value okay. is it something like like we have a binary yeah yeah i'll tell you i'll show you so basically it's more like a scientific notation if you see here at 2.5 e plus 5 means it means that this is the exponent of it i'll i'll show you how this actually means this is more like a mathematical terminology it's in 10 powers i guess my it yeah, multiplies yeah. with 10 that time that many times correct exactly yes if you if you see here this value was written like this Into ten plus fourteen. Okay, okay, I got it. I got it. 
So in the same way, they are trying to do it. This is just for the easy storing of the system. After the e, e, whatever the number it has, that will be multiplied with ten, and it will be added to that. Thank you. Any other questions? I mean, yeah, this I is called a scientific a... notation. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Sorry. Uh, actually, how do we know in the real time project we should use list, map, and uh, set? How do we know uh, in real time project? Okay, first use... thing, obviously, it is completely based on the requirement. If your requirement is in a way that you need to hold only unique values. Go for a set. If you want to, uh, you know, store something in a way that you have to perform some DML, you will understand what DML is. Sometimes, if you have to do some DML, go for list. Or if your requirement is in a way that, uh, you know, you will be giving something and you will be getting something, then go for map. But this is purely a developer call and completely based on the requirement. There is no such thing that if this, then go for this. If this, go for this. Whatever you are trying to achieve by using. uh you know set can be achieved by using list if you have an if condition while adding into a list to check if it is not containing only then add this you can achieve it but the thing is it's purely a developer call in order to understand how better the code can be optimized to uh, make it efficient it's purely a developer call there is no such uh, you know well structured table to show you that this is the time and this is the approach there is no such thing like that and you you get it more by practice that's what i can tell you uh aditin uh, can you hear me my name is ravi yes, yes. hi ravi yeah uh, thank you for such a wonderful session um thank you uh, uh, actually i wanted to ask you two things uh, mm -hmm. can you give us some more uh, in depth demonstration of a map like comparing old value new value something like yes, that yes we, we have that in triggers we have that in triggers this is basically about making you aware of the data types that we have and the process of creation of variables and adding something into the map so we we have yeah. real time examples for trigger where you will really uh, you know get enough hands on yeah thank you and the second request is if uh, maybe uh, in the real time what do we use uh, like a visual studio uh something like that if you can share uh not now down the line mm -hmm. i have to check on that because i'm quite conscious on the topic that i was given i this is kind That's of okay. expected maybe not today maybe, maybe i'll, maybe I'll speak with i'll speak with something. anand about this and i will try to see if i can bring vsc for my next session for now okay. i i mean i have not configured anything for my next session i'll try to make use of vsc sure thank you so much thank you one last question please because i have some other topics to cover as well so i will again come for q and a at the end so one last question hi hi ha uh, so uh, my question is that apex is uh, very much similar to the java so uh, the set map and uh, 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 list is list. Uh, just like a class in java so we can create a object and uh, from object we can uh, uh uh as a assign that method is same like that uh to be honest i'm sorry i did not get your question completely could you rephrase it please so uh, my question is that uh, the java and apex is uh, similar uh, kind of uh, stuff that uh, the set map and list is uh, just like a class in java so we mm -hmm. can create object Mm -hmm. just like uh, uh, giving any kind of name and from uh, that uh, we using dot operator to mm -hmm. uh, use the method just like uh, is empty correct or correct. clear yes yes i mean we were using it in that way is it your question like uh, are uh, we allowed to use it or uh, how do we use it what is your question uh, we use that way correct yes we used in that way only for the instance whatever you have you will be calling the corresponding methods so think like this if you are familiar with the concept of classes and constructors you have a class and in that class you have written some methods so if you want to access any of those methods that you have written in the class what will you do you will first create instance of that class the moment you create instance and initialize constructor gets invoked automatically for, for those who are not uh, you know aware of classes ignore this uh you will understand this much better once you understand oops and in the next session probably but you know for i am addressing his specific question 
you have a class and you have some methods written and for you to access those methods you need to have an instance created we call them as object i'm not speaking about salesforce object here class and object here so object dot the method name is what you are doing and we are doing the same thing here now think like this this is more like a class and for this class we have created an object and by using this object you are calling the corresponding methods this is the object and this is the method did that answer your question So I guess yes, he is asking, can we create such kind of objects and methods by ourselves? You you want to add something like uh, with your name for this? Instead of put, you want to put something by your name? No, yeah, no, okay. no. In uh, Java, just like a scanner classes. So hmm. uh, I want to say that uh, Java has uh, inbuilt classes. So set map. And uh, those stuff are same like that Java. Java has uh, inbuilt classes. So my question is that it's same like that in Java. Correct. Correct. So maybe he is asking like all these syntaxes, like the keys, which are available in Java, that are also available in Apex or not? Am I not right? All. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Yeah, I have shared that link to you all so that you can go into what other methods are there in. Okay. Let me, yeah, let me just add, uh, you know, let me add into what Anand just mentioned. So every data type you see here, or almost every keyword that you see in Salesforce is actually a class behind the scenes. When you say string, just type like this, you will see that string is a class. We know that string is a data type, but internally string is a class. And for this string class, what methods do we have? You will find this for integer, for list, for map, for set. For every keyword you see, I'm just opening list now. If I open list class, you will see the methods that are available inside a list. I don't know if all these are available in Java or not. I'm not primarily from Java, so I can't really answer that, but I am pretty much sure, but uh, I'm not completely sure that it is exactly the same with Java. Most of the concepts or whatever we have in Java might be similar with what we have in Apex and also .NET. But not, I cannot really completely give you a guarantee that it's exactly the same. But these are the documents given by Salesforce team itself. So there won't be anything beyond or something not missed in this. I can tell you that the methods that are supported for each and every keyword that we make use of inside Apex is very well documented. And that can give you enough information of what is it about or how they can be uh, you know, enhanced or improved for your own need. Did this answer your question? To be honest, I'm still not clear on your question, but did this answer? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, okay, fine. Okay, I'm going to... Here and there, there will be some advances. Uh, we're going to cover Spring 2020 update, updates also. I love this. And Anand has posted one of the beautiful link, Motivation Champion. Uh, learning flows that will help you a lot with a lot the slide is wrong it should be maps here it's my mistake sorry for that then we will cover the concept of dml and triggers maybe after a small break we have a small break uh, and we'll be uh, connecting by 11 30.